Hello traders, welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at uh, PAFX. Uh, first of all, thanks a lot for all of you for the support you're showing, for the likes and the comments. Um, and as I said last week, I would choose one winner uh, if we reach the uh, 100 likes for the previous video. And uh, we've done that actually. So today we're gonna choose one lucky winner to join our trading room one month for free. So stay tuned to know who is the winner and uh, i will also do the same this week as well so the same rules if we reach 100 likes uh, this week as well i will choose another uh, winner from the comment section to join our trading room one month for free so once again thanks a lot and while i roll the intro and disclaimer you will have the time to add a like and maybe a comment to be uh, one of the lucky winners maybe who knows thanks a lot see you there So welcome back guys, uh, as I said, we're gonna choose a winner and we're gonna make it uh, very, very simple. We have the comment section below the video. I have uh, counted the uh, um, the comments. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll, we will not uh, count with my comment up here. So uh, we have um, 30 comments and uh, <clears throat> I did exclude some people that did comment twice. So if your uh, comment uh, is if you have comment uh, several times the first comment that show up is gonna be your um, comment and uh, the way I will do that is actually very simple we go to a random number on um, Google I will start from 2 to ex exclude my own comment and um, to 30 and we want the site to generate a random number for us if you are already a one of my student uh, we're gonna do it uh, once again if the number uh, happened to be for one uh, of my student or someone who's already in the room yeah so as i said let's generate a number that is comment number 15 so let's count who is the lucky winner we will start from here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and fifteen here we have a winner ahmed siraj uh, so ahmed congratulations bud buddy uh, please um, you have to give me your email address so i send you the invitation so uh, let's write congratulation for mr ahmed so uh, again congratulations ahmed uh, you are the winner for the trading room contest you will win one month for free in our uh, trading room all you need to do is provide me with your uh, email address and i will uh, send you the invitation yeah so um, here we have the winner and thanks a lot guys as you see we reached uh, more than 100 comments and uh, sorry likes and uh, lots of comments and that helped the video to uh, show up for more people so we're gonna do the same for next week the same rules guys we reach 100 likes and uh, I will choose one from the comments so if you click the like button do not forget to add a comment as well to uh, have the chance to be uh, one of the winners so with that out of the way let's uh, keep moving with uh, the weekly overview we will start with the news events we have a lots and lots of speakers next week and we will start the monday with a very big uh, event and that is the manufacturing pmi for the europe the most important one going to be the manufacturing pmi from uh, germany which been uh, trending to the downside but last month we got a little bit higher uh, than expected so uh, this is going to be a very very important day for the euro as uh, because we have a, a Drezi, president draghi that gonna speak after that as well and a uh, lots of speakers lots of um, uh, central banks a president speech and we have uh, on wednesday official cash rate for new zealand uh, we have uh, draggy talk again corny to speak uh, fomc press conference and 
again guys um, you need to keep an eyes on those news event I will not go in details because you're gonna skip that I know <laughs> so uh, let's start with uh, uh, the charts and we will start with the Dixie looking at the Dixie chart right now looks pretty choppy as you see it is not um, fun uh, traded at all if you look at the daily, uh, daily time frame we are not uh, going anywhere um, we keep bouncing around we look at the weekly we are still inside this little channel with uh, much choppiness on the daily as i showed you earlier so the dixie chart is uh, pretty choppy uh, it, and it's not trending to give us um, an easy trade to say that we're gonna be long or short so we're gonna have some condition when we trade the dollar but if we go down to the four hour time frame things get much much easier we have actually this uh, range that we need to work with um, to make uh, things easy when you get confused use you need sometimes as we do here go to a lower time frame and see what you have on that time frame what I see for now is the four hour 200 moving average acting as a nice um, dynamic support and I think we could use that as our filter uh, the first level that we are gonna need to break for example to the downside to start thinking of more downside could be an idea or this range you have here to play that range until you have a break out of it if we go back to the daily we see that this trend line gonna be a very important one for us to keep an eye at because this trend line may give a, a possible support on the bounce and if broken then we probably start looking for more downside but short term keep an eye on this range guys uh, until we have a break out of it if we break to the upside then we probably gonna test the highs here or if we uh, break below this level here to then keep an eye on the 97.75 um, ish area for a possible level of support because this area been acting as good support and resistance in the past as you see so those are the levels for the Dixie right now pretty choppy sideways a couple of weeks of sideways and we need to um, see a trending market to make it a little bit more easy traded oil well as you all know we had that uh, situation uh, the drones that did uh, those strikes on um, on the um, Saudi's uh, oil um, uh, production areas and um, as I said last week the the gap was expected we got a very very strong gap to the upside and continuation higher but then after the market start realizing that the situation was not as bad as they were thinking or at least if you want to listen to, to the Saudis we see that um, oil did uh, push to the downside now we are sitting back at this technical level where we have monthly R1 previous um, previous range and uh, we stuck there uh, in my opinion there is now the I think the worst is over if we don't uh, hopefully not nothing like that happen uh, see another strike or something like that but if the things keep moving as they are right now we uh, the worst is over and we are looking at a possible impulse flag and correction and maybe another leg to the downside <clears throat> to fill this void here and to go back to normal so um, oil possible downside especially on a break of this uh, flag here if that is the case then uh, I'm looking to short if we get the break looking to short the retest back down toward monthly or uh, monthly pivot point which gonna send us back to normal so keep an eye on this level right now it is acting as a possible support but again after this very strong impulse we need to wait for that correction to end and then maybe give us the second leg gold uh, nice bounce higher on friday but still uh, we have um, the same scenario here not much has changed we still look at this as our support up here our resistance those are the level the most important ones for the gold everything inside here uh, could happen you could uh, see gold keep pushing higher to then sell it here to then 
look for possible bounce from this level you keep selling high buying low until you have a break of those level and i still think a break below here could be a good um, for us to start looking for a possible buys around uh, at least monthly as one or around the um, 1400 area yes so if we go down to lower time frame um, gold now uh, broke this previous high broke above the 200 moving average and above this level and it seems like we're gonna go back toward this uh, pretty interesting structure up here so if and when uh, or when uh, gold reach this level you probably want to look for a possible uh, bearish evidence because this area been acting as nice uh, both uh, resistance and support as you see and we may get some um, rejection from there back down if we breaks and hold above this level then the next target should be the previous highs up here yeah to then again start looking for possible sell. I, st I still think gold may give us a deep correction um, before um, a continuation to the upside. EURUSD, um, well, the same, almost uh, the same chart as the Dixie, but the opposite. So uh, we're still um, inside this range. And uh, we're gonna take a look at the daily chart uh, as well here. As you see, pretty choppy here and um, not much is happening. The levels I'm uh, really watching for uh, this market is this uh, trend line. We're still inside the bearish channel, so we keep making lower lows and lower highs. And uh, the last time we tested the previous lows, we had a pretty strong, strong push to the upside pushed a little bit higher to then push back down so so still there is no uh, momentum no continuation yet and we pushed lower on friday and again this is now the short term range you want to play this is your resistance up here and down here is your support keep an eye on those a break below this could send us back down toward this area which could be again a possible support level to start thinking about uh, a longer term reversal here we really need to see uh, the euro breaking above this uh, channel and at least above this uh, previous high to, to start talking about a possible reversal something like that but as far as we are below the 200 moving average on the four hour and uh, keep having resistance on this channel and the monthly pivot point um, then it is still a possible continuation to the downside because the longer term daily and weekly we are looking at a, a bearish trending market we still have the macron gap is still not tested not um, closed yet and uh, the last time we had a break below major structure to then now possibly a retest and continuation yeah who knows but play it uh, simple keep an eye on the lower time frame as i said this is your first range a break below that will send us toward this level and if this got broken then we start talking about a um, gap close okay otherwise for those of you who want to uh, go long on the euro, you need to really see the break of this level. There is a lots of confluence here. As you see, we have uh, previous structure support, then acting resistance. We have monthly pivot point. We have the trend line, the 200 moving average on the four hour. There is lots and lots of confluence in this area. And that is uh, going to be the level that the bulls really need to break for that uh, continuation to the upside at least short term sterling usd did reach a important level i was expecting it to reach all the way to tag that 1.26 even handled number before a reversal but last friday we uh, just was shy below that to then uh, get rejection i think the first level of interest to the downside now is down here uh, this uh, broken structure that may get tested one more time keep an eye on this level it could give you another bounce to the upside if reach it for a deeper correction on the sterling usd we want to see this level broken so if the market breaks this level then we are looking for another attempt to the downside here on um, on this market yeah so first off keep an eye on this level that is a 
level where the bulls may uh, start defending here so if you get bullish evidence you want to look for a possible buy here otherwise a break below this that will open the door for another attempt to retest this broken structure down here on this market 1.26 is our sell level so if the market opens and start moving higher once again here keep an eye on this level because this is a possible sell area still yeah so a tag of this level could also be a level to look for a possible sell here um, usd jappy a nice rejection from the 108 area so if we go to the daily time frame we've been talking about this level to be a level of interest thursday bearish engulfing and closed uh, back uh, down below 108 friday was a continuation and for now i think we gonna the way is almost open to retest uh, the monthly pivot point down here and retest this neckline we have so short term after this uh, nice uh, top uh, formation i'm looking for a possible retest and continuation toward this level to then start looking to see if the bulls gonna show up at the monthly pivot point and this neckline this is gonna be a very important area for the bulls to defend and um, it is the first area that you need to keep an eye at for now so short term maybe we're gonna see a continuation to the downside here and uh, to then start looking for a possible bounce to the upside from that area uh, usd chief also um, reached a level of interest so we reached previous highs here on this major swing high we tested to break and hold above the 200 moving average uh, on the daily it failed so we had the first rejection the day after they broke above it but after that on thursday we've got a very strong bearish engulfing candle back below the, the highs and back below the 200 moving average so this showing a potential start of a uh, reversal move maybe at least toward this level down here is the possible market objective so if we go down to lower time frame and if you want to play it safe so if we're gonna consider this as a possible bull trap we had a nice impulse now we're going to look for a correction and if we break this trend line like this we look for the next cor correction and another leg down here toward this important level this down here gonna be a possible level that the bulls may defend one more time so keep an eye on that because if they fail to to hold it we're gonna see another attempt to the last line of defense down here which is this area okay this scenario the longer term scenario is possible for continuation to the downside but as you see we have some troubles on the way so first off you want a break here correction continuation then you may see a bounce from this area if the bulls failed again we are gonna see the last leg to the downside on this market USDCAD, we still uh, have this idea ongoing uh, in my trading room. Um, some of my traders still in it. I'm still in it. Uh, we keep uh, getting those uh, divergence on the four hour time frame, as you see. So um, we will uh, keep holding the trade. The idea is still valid. As far as we keep failing here, it is still valid for a first target at least to reach uh, uh, next week. So what happened uh, now we got a lower high uh, we failed so we've been making higher highs all the time here um, when we were in this trade to then now get our first confirmed lower high here which is good for the idea so what i'm looking for now is a, at least a break of this uh, channel now that we want to see the market breaking this channel breaking previous low if that is the case that would be a good signal that we may be going for the first target and as you may know from last week the next target is down here so 
keep an eye on this idea. It is, again, uh, as I said, it is still valid and we're going to um, uh, keep uh, playing this uh, idea as far as we do not have a continuation to the upside. And our stops are uh, up here because uh, if this market to really keep pushing higher and break above and hold above, then the idea is uh, invalidated and there is a possibility for continuation. So those of you who want to play it safe, I would say go to a lower time frame like the one hour, wait for the break of this uh, trend line to then look for a correction that hold below it and then sell again if you are not in the trade already. Aussie USD weakness continuation. So after a retest of this uh, pretty important level here, we've been uh, mentioning these levels of uh, interest uh, many times now. Uh, we've got a uh, reversal and continuation and it seems like the market objective is at least to uh, go back toward this area of interest where we have a lots of support previously or even maybe all the way down here toward this level. If we look left on this chart, there is not much uh, to hold as support and any break below that area could send us all the way back down toward these levels. So you need to really keep an eye on this structure here. It gave us a pretty nice uh, push to the upside now we're moving lower what we want to know and what we want to be sure of that this market is not giving us just a correction and maybe a continuation so keep an eye on this level down here just below the monthly pivot point where we had the previous support uh, because bulls may show up here at this level and uh, give you yet another leg to the upside which going to be a b c and the D completion at the trend line and the 200 moving average. This area up here gonna be very, very important where you may see another leg to the downside if that is the case, okay? So um, <clears throat> those are the levels. You really, really need to watch them. Right now, the market uh, trading just below that 618 Fibonacci and about or already tested the monthly pivot point. Um, that's why I'm thinking that we keep an eye on this level down here because this could be the level where you may see the bulls defending uh, this area. New Zealand USD also let's go to the monthly chart to remind you of my idea for um, one or one and a half year ago when this break happened that we were looking for retest of this level down here. So if and that is a big if the market break and hold below this level on the monthly time frame or the weekly time frame, then that will open the, the longer term trade to the downside, which is this leg here, because there is nothing on the way to hold as support until we tag this low here. So keep an eye on this trade. Do not forget that you have a major event on uh, New Zealand next week, the official cash rate and the most important is the rate statement to see what kind of language uh, the um, RBNZ going to have. If uh, that is a more dovish than expected, then you may have your catalyst for that continuation. But as for now, the market uh, is really looking at this level as a very, very important area where you may see the bulls um, entering and defending. So keep an eye at the monthly S1 down here next week because it may uh, in this area here because here is a pretty important level. You may see a spike below to trap sellers to then push higher once again. Now, if that is the case and we see the market pushing, making a um, break below trapping sellers, there is a possibility that you see a reversal toward this area before the next continuation. Okay, uh, <clears throat> that is uh, most of it about this chart maybe a bounce down here bulls show up defense but if we reach this level once again you want to look for a possible continuation because bears may start defending this level already uh, next week if reach it yeah so we have those news events keep an eye on them they gonna be the uh, guide for how this market will continue in the future so uh, yeah that was it for today guys thanks a lot
and another reminder more likes and comments to um, be able to uh, reach that 100 like once again to uh, give you another winner that will join our trading rooms thanks a lot see you next week bye bye